Welcome back everyone. Now let's get started with the coding for our volleyball part 1 project. When you sign in to Scratch using our class account, click onto our class name and you will be able to see a My Staff button. Click on My Staff and you will see that I've already created volleyball templates for you. Okay, so you just need to scroll down, look for your name and the project, click on See Inside to modify your code. Okay, so I'm going to show you with my example. So when you open up the volleyball template that you have, you will see that I've given you a stage backdrop of a beach and two sprites, a player one sprite and a volleyball sprite. Okay, today we're going to get started with the player one. So let's click on player one to code first. So I'm going to create a score today because we are going to count our score. So let's go to variables, click on make a variable and we're going to call it score. For all sprites. Okay. Now once done, let's get started with the coding for our player to get her to move. So first go to events, take out your green flag block. When green flag is clicked, we are going to set her size to 60%. So it's a bit smaller. And we're going to set a starting score. So set score to zero. All games should start with a score of zero. And we're going to make sure our volleyball player starts from the right side of the screen. So she's going to start somewhere about here. Okay, so let's go to motion. We're going to bring out a go to XY block. Change the numbers. X is 180. Y is minus 130. Okay, once done, we're going to code the arrow key movements for the player. So we're going to bring out our forever control block. Forever, if sensing a key press, if sensing key, we're going to move left and right today. So let's do a right first. If key right arrow press, we're going to move her to the right. So go to motion, take out a change X block, change X by 10. All right, and then we're going to copy this if then code to make another one for left arrow. So right click on the then. Click on Duplicate, okay? Put it below the right arrow. We're going to change the second if then to left arrow. If key left arrow press, change X by minus 10, opposite direction, going to the left, okay? Now, once done, let's test this code out. So click the green flag and click your left and right arrow if you're using a computer keyboard. You will be able to see that our player one is now able to move left and right. Okay, great. Now, player one is completed. Let's move on to volleyball sprite. So click your volleyball sprite. Go to sounds. We're going to add a sound effect for when the ball touches the bottom of the screen. So choose a sound. We're going to choose a bounce sound. Okay, a high conga actually. Because it creates a sort of bounce sound. So we're going to add this in. Okay, once done, go to code. We're going to add the starting code for your volleyball that I went through in the group learning earlier. Okay, so we're going to bring out a green flag click first. When green flag is clicked, we're going to set the starting size of our ball to be 15%. Finish, we're going to set the rotation style to don't rotate. Set rotation style, don't rotate. And we're going to make our ball go to a random left and right position at the top of the screen. So for this, we're going to go and pick out a go to XY block, go to XY, and we're going to go to operators. We're going to pop in a pick random operator for the X box. So for X, which is left and right, we're going to randomize the range, minus 180 to 180. And for your Y, which is the top position, we're going to fix it at 150. Okay, once done, we're going to make sure our ball points in the direction downwards, which is 180. Okay, we're going to start the ball falling down, which is 180. Okay, now once done, let's make our ball move forever. I'm going to bring out another green flag click event. Okay, I'm going to bring out a weight block. Wait 5 seconds. 
Alright, and then forever, we are going to make the ball move. So forever, wait 0 0.01 seconds, and then we're going to bring out a move block. Okay, move 10 steps. Alright, so when you press your green flag, you should see the ball falling down after 5 seconds. Okay, now we're going to add our interactions for when the ball touches the ground or bounces on the player. So we're going to find an empty space on the workspace and we're going to add three conditions. If then, if then, and if then. Okay, I shall zoom in so you can see this closer. Okay, so for the first if then, we're going to add the condition for when the ball touches the bottom of the screen. Okay, so bring our operator N, pop it into the first hole. Now, something and something. If the ball sensing touching edge, be careful when you pop the codes in because this might get a bit tricky. If touching edge and, let's bring out the equal sign. Something equals something. Direction, so go to motion. Direction of the ball equals to 180. This, you have to type this in. Then we're going to play the sound high conga until done. And we're going to stop all the codes in the game. So let's bring out the stop all block, put it, put, it, put it under the sound block. Okay, now for the next condition, what happens if the ball touch the player? If, bring out this block, touching player 1, then we're going to point the ball upwards. So point in direction 0, this means pointing up. Okay, and we're going to add a score point because we have successfully hit the ball. So bring out a change score by one block. Okay, now for the last condition, this is when the ball touches the top of the screen. Okay, we're going to copy out this end code. So right click, duplicate, pop it into the last hole. So if touching edge and direction equals to zero, so this means touching the top edge of the screen, we are going to point the ball downwards. Okay, so bring out your point in direction block change this number to 180 so it's pointing down okay so with that we have completed all the conditions for your volleyball all right now we're going to drag all of this code into your forever block over here under the move okay so carefully do this drag from the first if drag and put it under the move okay ah so you should have an entire code that looks like this all right now, that is the end of our coding today, but before we save our work, let's do a last testing of your project, okay? So click the green flag and let's play. Now, let's see what happens when we manage to hit the ball. The ball should bounce up and hit the ceiling. When it hits the ceiling, bounce down, okay? Now, what happens if we miss the ball? It will hit the bottom. And it'll play a high conga sound before it freezes the game. Okay? And as you play, make sure that when you hit the ball, you can see your score changing. Alright? So everyone, if this works well, this means you have completed your work. So you will need to save it. So click on File. Save Now. Okay? Make sure you can see the word Project Save. Once done, you can click on our class account and sign out. Okay? And then after this, move back to eCampus page, do your self-checklist, and that's the end of your HBL. Okay? Now, for those of you who see an error message, if you suddenly see a message that says, Oh dear, project cannot save. Don't worry, don't panic. Just continue coding for the whole project. Okay? Finish coding for everything, then you do this. File, save to your computer. So we are downloading the work to your computer. Once done, sign up of Scratch, go to eCampus and upload this downloaded project. Okay? All the instructions are on eCampus, so please follow the instructions carefully as you do your work. Okay? And always check your work. Alright, so that's the end of today's tutorial. Have fun with your volleyball part 1 project. See you next time. Bye!